What's going on? I am the goods on YouTube. TG so good everywhere else. You guys make sure to follow me over on Twitter at TG so good. You'll see my Twitter handle in the bottom right corner. All right, so we're gonna take a look at some things uh, real quick. I want to get this out of the way. I just I recently did a video. It may not be so recent by the time you're watching this, but uh, shows you how to install Louis roster tool. Okay. Um, the roster tool is a roster editing tool, and I got a very good question on here. It says, what's the point of downloading this if we can already edit the same information in game? All right. So the point of downloading this is going to be that the tool, it, it does way, it does more than just what's available to you in game for instance i am going to put together a tutorial to show you how to change the black top to a different court if you want to just to play black top uh i'll do that in the future and it had like i said with the shoes you can change up the shoes because some players have their shoe brand locked um I'm trying to think of some other quick Things. I mean, it allows you to make entire rosters much quicker than you could in game. So if you want to have like a retro roster or a fictional roster, if you have modded jerseys that you want to put in the game, it's really quick to assign them. You can't do that. You really can't do that without a tool like this. So for roster makers, I think they kind of know what advantages this tool has for everyday guys. Just the the guys playing casually on PC, then you may not even, you may not know what the tool is capable of. But anyway, let's jump into today's video. We're going to look at the basic support for roster modding plugin. So of course we have the roster editing tool, but we also need to download this basic support for roster mod modding because it's going to help with a few, uh, a few things that could be be issues by default because of how the game uh, normally overwrites things. So it says it will disable the data overwritten by the official roster. So it's not really it's not changing game code or anything. But every time you try to change, let's say, oh, like for instance, blacktop. When I changed my blacktop arena and I saved the roster, if I like go to open up the roster the arena for blacktop resets to the default so this plugin will stop that um, it will also allow you to give players names that the game sometimes does not allow uh, like if you had a last name of I think if your last name was was like Massey or Dixon or something like that. I think the game sometimes blocks that from from a blocks you from entering those names, even though they're real names. But um, anyway, it's some basic names that the game does block. All right, this one says reset quick play slash two K U matchup. Avoid crashes after using a Madi roster. Okay, yeah, most of you won't even need to worry about that part. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this plugin. Now, if you guys want me to do a video on the Force Player Portraits uh, plugin, I can do that too. Wait, we didn't go anywhere. All right. All right so don't click this. Go over and click this. Just click OK. Then we want to go to our download. Folk, I know what I can do. I can just open up that zip file right here. And what you want to do is you want to drag this over to your um, to your folder that has the 2K hook. So where is my folder with the 2K hook? Hold on one second, guys. So it's in my main NBA 2K22 folder. And where is that? All right. So NBA 2K22. You can see it's under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, 2K22. And then my hook folder is here. I believe we need to go into, do we go into plugins? 
I think we go to scripts. I think we need to put it in scripts. Let me look at his website. Yeah, I think we put them in scripts. All right, so I'm going to put it in scripts cuz I already have I already have this one here, the player editor. I need to download this one also, Force Player Portraits. You you can choose not to force player portraits also if you don't want to, but All right, so let me go back. All right, so here's the scripts folder. Here's this, the roster modding.lua file. I drag it over. It's in there. Let me see if it comes up if I click plugins. No, nope. I think I have to restart the game. Yeah, so I'll restart the game. Two K twenty two. Hopefully, I didn't confuse anybody by clicking on all these screens. But yeah, this this hook folder. I've already done a video on how to install the hook folder, and you see this comes up. You, you're gonna need Windows ten to run this, also, I believe. All right, so press F eight. I'm gonna select English. English is okay. Plugins. All right, so it's not plugins, photo scripts, photo. Let me see something. I uh, can't really tell if it's working. Hold on one second. There is. Supposed to be something. I'm pretty sure I put it in the right folder. I don't think. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can find it here. Hook roster editor. Oh man, he's already got an update for the roster editor. Okay. Gonna have to grab that. I'm trying to find the basic. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I have to go through this. Goodness, come on. Goodness, I can't find what I need. All right. Um, I think I have it in the right place. Let me see if I can do a search. Because I was looking for a screenshot that will actually tell me if I move that that Lua file to the right spot. Here it is. Roster modding plugin. It says you are supposed to, yeah, you put it in the scripts folder, which is what I did. Okay. All right. Ah, okay. So it, it is working. <laughs> I did all of that to just need to come here. It is working. It's showing up right here. It's showing right here. It says it's running. Cool. All right. So there we have it. And that's all I have for this video. Um, it's really nothing, no options that you need to select in here for, for the roster modding thing. Just keep it enabled, keep it running, and then you'll be able to use. Hold on one second. You'll be able to use the roster editing tool the way you want to. I don't know if the roster editing tool is going to come up. But anyway, oh, there it is. So I'm going to update this. 
actually I'm gonna jump into my next video I didn't mean to make this video 10 minutes I apologize for that but uh, I'm gonna jump into my next video which is updating this